we are going to start off by running your profile for the very first time and then creating a character configuration file as a result. And what that does for us is we can then tell the bot exactly how we want it to act. We can tell it whether we want to go to Bale or to Andariel or to run Tombs or whatever the case may be, and then it will do it. We have to create the character configuration file, though, to tell it to do that for that exact character. And for each subsequent character that we may make in the future, we'll go through this exact same process. So for, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is click on our profile. And actually, back up just a second here. Make sure you click Save. I forgot to say that in the previous video, but save your profiles, and then that way when you close out, it'll still be there when you come back in. I meant to say that in the last video, but I missed it. Continuing on, go ahead and hit start, and that will create a Diablo 2 window, or open a Diablo 2 window, I should say. And if you filled out everything correctly, it will log into battle.net, it'll put in your username, or excuse me, your account name and password, and then make the game name and password that you told it to. And it's really important to make sure that you don't use the default game name and password as I said in the last part, because if you just use game and name, a lot of times it's going to be taken already, so it's not going to work. As you can see here, the bot's not moving, and that is because we don't have a character configuration file. In order to create a character configuration file, as it says here, you want to go ahead and hit Home and then Space. So when you hit Home and Space, it closes Diablo 2. It gives you this little message in your console down here that says, your character's name has been created for the character config. Please configure your bot and start again. And that's literally it for this step. I'm going to keep this short. I don't want to go into the configuration process in this particular video. Stay tuned for the next one. 